So here we are at Connect Thames Valley Tech and we're about to conduct a little experiment to see just how far away we can shoulder surf a password. Now we're going to do this with a variety of different camera gear. Let's see how we get on. So here's our little experiment. What we've got is Excel with some passwords in. One of them in Courier New and one of them in the default Calibri font. Both at standard 11 point text. We've also got an iPad which has got a password which has been emailed to a sysadmin. What we're going to do is see how far away we can get away with shoulder surfing these passwords. And we're going to use a range of devices to do this. We're going to use the camera in a standard smartphone and we're going to use the latest in DLSLR technology. So let's see how we get on. This is a key fob camera purchased on eBay for $5.95. It's only an 800 by 600 camera and you have to be really close to get a result. At half a metre on a laptop it is a little unclear. Take a look at the P. However on an iPad screen there's more pixels per character increasing readability. This is a GoPro 4 Black Edition. It is one of the current generations of 4K cameras. It does much better than the key fob and again it is clearer on the iPad. On to the iPhone 6. Much is made of the quality of these cameras, but for shoulder surfing, it's a fixed wide-angled camera and the digital zooming makes no difference to the overall result. About 1.5 metres is the furthest we could get. The Sony RX100 is typical of the current range of compact cameras, with a combination of optical and digital zooms and a useful 10 to 1 zoom ratio. It fared particularly well in the off-axis tests, although you need a steady hand for a successful result. Now we move on to the DLSR with a 300mm lens. We are trying to see just how far we can get away from the laptop, maybe even between two buildings in a typical city environment. The results are pretty conclusive. At 25 metres, you can clearly see the detail on both screens. If this morning was about reading passwords at a distance, this afternoon is about watching people type them from distance. Let's get on with the tests. We start with a GoPro 4 and we found that the angle from the camera to the keyboard makes a real difference to the readability of the password as fingers cover the keys being typed. Side on is much better. Since passwords are typed regularly at speed, it is very hard to read by eye. We've used a high frame rate on the GoPro 4 to slow down the action. Now we can see each key as it's being pressed and if it's being used in combination with the shift key. Even if we can't see the exact key, we can see the general vicinity of the key being used. The DLSR allows us to get even further away and interestingly, we found that the longer travel keyboards found on desktop machines were visually easier to decode. We spent the day trying out different methods of shoulder surfing. Some of them we found a lot easier than others the obvious takeaway for us today is that taking a picture of a password on a screen is a lot easier than actually videoing someone type it in. We're going to take this information back to the office, put it in some tables and carry on our research. Here's the conclusion of our results. The key fob camera with its low resolution only works to a third of a metre. The GoPro 4 was good for two metres. The iPhone was a surprise to us at only being good for 1.5 metres with a three metres for typing. The compact camera fared better with 3 or 4 metres. The DLSR really proves the point that you can read passwords from a fair distance and shoulder surfing is a genuine threat. Here's how a Serium solves this problem. And here we have accessing a device through a Serium. This time we can simply find our device, log on to it using a specific admin account but without revealing any passwords, without looking them up in any spreadsheets and we've got access to our device. 